Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference will take place on June 10th. And here's everything there is to know about it, about the upcoming conference that will give us updates in iOS, iPad OS, TV OS, Watch OS, Mac OS, and for the first time ever, Vision OS that it's rumored to make this Apple's biggest conference ever. On top of that, we're gonna talk about all the upcoming hardware, all the products that Apple is actually rumored to drop during WWDC. Hi, it's Buka, your friendly tech review. This is tech news you actually care about. Let's dive into it. When it comes to iOS home screen, we've had the same looking home screen the entire time the iPhone has been alive. Ever since the iPhone was first introduced, the home screen was always the same, has always looked the same. It's always been the same grid system to where you can't really put your icons anywhere you want on your home screen, which is a feature that Android users have had since ever. But it seems like Apple is finally giving us the ability to be able to customize our home screen, which means we'll be able to put our app or icons wherever we want on the home screen but it might not be exactly what you think. So the way Apple is gonna do it, they're gonna give us the ability to create these blank spaces in between apps. So let's say you have a couple icons on the first row, you can choose to create a blank space on the middle row and then put the next icons in the bottom row. It might not be what you think to where you can just slap an icon wherever you want on the screen because it's rumored that Apple will still use that grid system to kind of keep everything nice and unified but I do think it's awesome that we're gonna have the ability to be able to customize our home screens, even though it's a feature that Android users have had ever since Android was invented. Speaking of changes, there is a chance that we could be getting a complete redesign. And since this happened right after Apple released Vision OS, some people thought we we're gonna get a Vision OS like for iOS. So I'm talking about those nice looking round icon that are super clean, the shadows and so much more which I think would look super super awesome on an iPhone. But I don't see Apple going in that direction because I feel like it's too much change for Apple. But I do think it would look really really awesome having the round icons although it would look more like Android. but. We'll see what Apple do decide. The next big iOS 18 feature that's coming is RCA support. Just in case you don't know, communication between iOS devices has always been nice and smooth because, for example, if I send you a high quality picture or video, that's how you're gonna receive it. But if I do take the same image and send it to my Android friend, they will receive a much lower resolution image. And this is because Apple has always, or Apple still uses SMS when it comes to communicating with Android devices. Recently, countries like the EU and other companies have tried to pressure Apple to switch over to RCS, but it seemed like that's something that Apple was not going to do until the EU forced Apple to go ahead and make the change. And it seems like they're finally bringing it here to the States. I do see this as a win because it's gonna be awesome having the same communication feeling or all the features that I've had with my iOS friends to my Android friends. But the main difference between SMS and RCS, it's the fact that SMS is static and RCS is dynamic, which means with RCS, we're still going to get the high quality or high resolution image like I was talking about. Red receipt, typing indicator, and group chats are finally going to be awesome rather than in the past to where if it was a group chat of iOS devices, it was super awesome, super great. But the second you add that Android friend, it wasn't as great. But I am super excited. I do think this is a feature that both sides will benefit and enjoy. And I can't wait to see what else Apple has in mind. Speaking of other features, I think the biggest, by far what's gonna make WWDC the biggest conference is the fact that Apple is finally putting their feet into generative AI. Earlier this year, Apple CEO Tim Cook said that Apple has reached a breaking point into generative AI. And he said that they have features that are coming later this year. On top of that, Greg from Apple posted on X and said, mark your calendars for WWDC June 10th to the 14th, it's going to be absolutely incredible. And the A in absolute is capitalized and I in incredible is capitalized, which is AI. So which means we are getting AI features with upcoming iOS and I can't wait, I'm super excited. We do know that Apple is working on a generative AI model of their own. However, it does seem like 
that wasn't going as fast as they hoped because Apple is rumored to be in talks with Google to try to license their Gemini model to integrate Gemini into their upcoming iOS 18 updates or features. I'm super excited to see what this partnership actually means. Like what is Gemini going to be used to power? But if I'm guessing, especially by looking at the invitation, we can see that the invitation has a bunch of Siri color. So which means we're getting an update to Siri. So it's almost promising that Apple will be using Gemini to power their new Siri system. Because when you compare Siri to other assistant, it's actually said how far it is. When it comes to virtual assistant, Siri has become the laughing stock in comparing to others like Google. However, Apple themselves have said that they're planning to change Siri into the ultimate virtual assistant. When it comes to Siri, I think one of the most reason why it's so bad is Apple themselves. Apple is a company that prides themselves into security. They want to keep your information secure. So if you search up something they want that information to just be locked into your phone and device only and make you the only person who's able to access this information so when it comes to siri you can see that they don't really have this massive database like gemini does which is one of the reason why i think apple decided to turn into Google to ask him for assistant. Regardless, this would be an awesome add-on or this would be an awesome partnership between Google and Apple because Gemini already has all this data so they don't have to worry about training a new model and hoping that it gets to where a model like Gemini is. So it will be super beneficial. I do think that it's gonna make Siri extremely useful and I can't wait to see what else Apple has in stock. When it comes to iPad OS, we really haven't seen any specific rumor that's targeting iPad OS, but it's safe to say that all the rumors that we just talked about that's gonna be implemented into iOS will be moved on to iPad OS. With Watch OS, we did get the biggest update last year with the widget and so much more. So I don't think that Apple is gonna create dramatic changes, but it's gonna be awesome to see how Apple is gonna be able to implement all this generative AI into our watch models. With Mac OS, we are still on the same boat. We really don't know what Apple has planned for us, but it's safe to say that we're still gonna get the same AI feature. I'm super excited to see how Apple is going to be able to implement some of these generative or AI feature because when they released the MacBook Air, they said this was the best laptop for AI. So it's gonna be awesome to see what else or what other features that are going to make this statement true. With Vision OS, I really doubt that Apple is going to do something that's gonna be dramatically different, especially with this being the first update in comparison to what they released last year. So I think Apple is just going to do like a little bug fix. We do know that Apple is listening to customer intakes to try to see how they can better improve the product. So I do think this Vision OS update is going to be super, super minor. It's going to be mainly bug fixes. Now moving over to hardware, the only two hardware that's rumored to be releasing during WWDC is the M3 Mac Mini and the M3 Mac Studio. However, we are going to have to wait for Apple to fully confirm this in WWDC. There are still more rumors dropping every single day. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on everything that's going on i'm super excited about wwdc this will be the biggest and i can't wait to see what else apple has in stock all the surprises and so much more when it comes to rumor i'll keep you guys up to date of everything that's going on and yeah catch you in the next one